The Xilinx Agile Mix Signal Evaluation Platform is a complete analog measurement solution with a wide range of evaluation tools. The AMS Evaluator lets you evaluate the internal temperature and voltage sensors, plus a number of analog specifications such as signal to noise ratio, effective number of bits, and linearity. For this demonstration, I'm using a Zinc 7000 ZC702 baseboard with the AMS 101 card plugged into the X80C header and the reference design loaded on a memory card. The next step is to open the AMS Evaluator tool built on National Instruments' LabVIEW software. We'll blow that up full screen. And when I hit the Collect Data button after connecting, we see the sine wave signal from the analog device's 16-bit DAC on the AMS 101 evaluation card. The default setting has the DAC send out a sine wave signal, which is routed to the X80C to be measured. And to apply your own external signal, simply click a button in the AMS Evaluator tool and connect the input to the goal post on the AMS 101 evaluation card. Inside the Frequency Domain tab, we see the FFT for the analog data and a number of key analog specifications. Signal-to-noise ratio, total harmonic distortion, SFDR, and the important effective number of bits. And on the right-hand side, you can also vary the sample rate here, select single channel or simultaneous sampling here, and select between unipolar or bipolar mode on the analog inputs. When our sine wave is initially applied, we saw an SNR of 65.3 dB and an effective number of bits of 10.4. If we select a decimation setting of 16 and hit the Collect Data button again, we see the SNR prove to 73.5 dB and the effective number of bits go to 11.2. This shows just a brief example of the power of AMS and we're just starting to scratch the surface of what you can do with integrated analog. Inside the AMS 101 Evaluator tool, you can also look at the linearity for INL and DNL. You can read the X80C register settings. And you can also measure the three internal voltage sensors and temperature sensor from the sensor data tab. If you go to the debug tab, we can save the data we've just measured by clicking this button here. So as you've seen, we've looked at a lot of the key analog specifications. The next step is to visit xilinx.com AMS for more information, including videos on X80C evaluation in Chipscope Pro and the X80C Wizard tutorial.